I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. One of the most important pieces of equipment you can have on your tank is a protein skimmer, because it's going to pull out fish poop, fish pee, basically nasty things that you don't want in your tank. And it's really important that you keep the neck of your skimmer clean, clean it every two to three days. But a lot of people overlook cleaning the body of their skimmer, because it's going to get nasty, it's going to get things in there like coralline algae, maybe some other algae growth. The tritus will get stuck in there. If you don't clean it out, your skimmer is going to lose efficiency and you're going to see it in your tank. So here's an example of a protein skimmer. It's about three years old. Still working pretty good. You can see it's got a fair amount of coralline algae growth in there. It's like some little green algae on the bottom. So we could just scrub this coralline algae with a stiff brush, but it's not going to get the job done. We need a special ingredient to loosen this stuff up, make it die off, so we can scrub it right out of there. And what's the ingredient? Well, good old cheap vinegar that you can get at your grocery store. This stuff works great for cleaning your skimmer, power heads, anything that's got algae on there that won't come off with a stiff brush. Or if you're lazy and you don't want to scrub stuff, you can soak some of your equipment in the vinegar. After a couple days, the algae would just fall right off. So there's two reasons I like using vinegar to clean your equipment. Number one, it works really, really well. And number two, it's really cheap. A container like this will run you about a dollar at your local grocery store. So how much vinegar are we going to use? Well, the answer is you can really never use too much. So we're definitely going to use the rest of this container, and we'll probably use some more out of this container as well. Because like I said, you can't use too much. So clean your equipment with the vinegar just first. Dump your vinegar in. Make sure you got a large bucket like this container such that all of your equipment is submerged. And we're going to go ahead and add some more. The last step, just add water. Gotta love that sound. Now, as I said, I'm gonna add just enough water so that all this equipment is submerged. And I'm actually gonna take it a step further and turn on the pump for this protein skimmer so that it circulates the water in the bucket, help everything clean up a little bit better. Now all we got to do is wait. I'm going to leave this skimmer sitting in this vinegar water mixture for two days or so. Then I'll give it enough time to really eat on that coralin and get it loose. So when I'm ready to clean it, hit it with a little bit of a stiff brush, all of it will come peeling right off. So I'll see you in a couple days. All right, it's now Sunday night and this skimmer's been soaking in this vinegar water mixture for two days now. And I'm going to show you how great vinegar is for cleaning your equipment, especially about getting coralline algae off. Now here's our skimmer. If you remember two days ago, it was full of this coralline algae. Well, it's still there. And usually the only way to get rid of coralline is to scrape it with a razor blade. And inside the body of the skimmer, I can't get my hand down that. So that's not an option. But this skimmer has been soaking in vinegar for two days. And if you look, I can just wipe that coralline algae out with my finger. I don't even have to really use any pressure. It just comes right out just like that. So I'll just grab my brush, get in here, scrub the inside of the skimmer, wash it off real well, put it back together, put it on the tank, and we're good to go. So vinegar, water, two days of soaking, clean even the hardest and dirtiest of your equipment. And this works great for any tank personality, and I highly recommend it. So that's it for this edition of Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. I'm Mark Callian, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Grab some vinegar and have fun cleaning your equipment. On to the next thing.